Hey everybody, welcome back to another Creo tutorial. Today I'm going to go over the reference image tool. Now I did go over this a very long time ago, but since a lot of, th a lot of things have changed and it's a very old video, I wanted to remake it to give you some better audio and a much clearer tutorial. So let's get started. So your reference image tool is going to be this little pin icon, and if you hover over it, it'll say, come on, <laughs> reference images tool. And if you go to your tool options, you'll see some unique options for that tool. So what this is going to do is allow you to import any image file to use as a reference for whatever it is you're drawing. And this is really helpful when you need color reference um, or just reference of your own drawings to redraw a character or anything like that. So to get started, we're going to hit the plus icon. And we are just going to pick a, fl uh, a flower. <laughs> we're just going to pick an image to bring in. All right. So as you can see, it keeps its original size as well. So if you have a very large reference image, it's going to be a very large import. So you can immediately move it around. It has the uh, anchors or the boxes to resize. So you can resize it. If you go over the icon, you can rotate it, all that stuff. And when you have it selected in the tool options, you can see two new options have appeared, opacity and saturation. So you can change the opacity. Now this is good, like let's say you are using a reference and you want to make sure that this is accurate for the, the composition or the anatomy or whatever it is and you want to kind of sort of trace it. Now obviously, I, have, I recommend tracing your own work not copying somebody else's you know stuff like that or if this is just for quick concepts obviously that would be fine in my opinion so you can do that with the opacity or if you don't want to see it anymore like maybe it's just in the way you can turn it off just make sure to click back where you put it so you can bring it back up and then saturation you can take that down and make a full black and white image now this is good for studying values and not worrying so much about color or if you're doing a study like a portrait study or just um, an overall figure study and you want to just have a nice black and white image, that's a really good way to do it. You can also lower the saturation to get some really interesting color to pick from. So as you can see, as I lower this, maybe I want this nice faded pink here versus at full saturation, it's a very vibrant pink. So you can get some interesting effects that way and keep aspect ratio so automatically this is checked out if you take it off it is not going to scale in proportion so you can squish it and stretch it all that fun stuff i personally don't see a need for unchecking that so i leave it on and the save location you can embed it to the creta file which is this so whenever you open the creta file it will be here However, if you have a ton of images and it's starting to kind of increase the file size, you may want to change it to link to image. Now what this is going to do is wherever this uh, file is saved, it's going to link to that file location. So if you go and you move this file for, out of that folder, it will break the link. So you will have to relink it or bring it in again. But if, like, like I said, if you have a lot of images and they're very big in size, linked image is going to save you some file space. All right, so now we have the basics down for importing your first reference image and what you can do with them. Let's go over the other options. So by clicking off, I go back to just these options at the bottom. So this here, I'm actually going to bring up an image. All right, so this is going to copy, or I'm sorry, this is going to paste in any image that you screenshot from like let's say Google Images, Brave Images, uh, Pinterest, or your own personal images. You didn't want to drag them in, you just hit print screen and want to bring that in, right? You can click this button and it's going to drag that in for you. So I just pull a little cute kitten image off of uh, an image search. Now it's going to retain that resolution, so this was pretty small. Oops. When I took a screenshot of it, so it's going to be pixelated. So keep that in mind. It's not going to be matching the original file quality of the image you want to screenshot, but it's still a 
good way to bring something in quickly without searching through your files. So I'm gonna put that, I'll move that here. So as I scale it up, it's gonna get really pixelated, which is fine. It was a pretty small image, I just grabbed a screenshot of. <clears throat> and here, I'm actually going to the save icon first. So let's say these two images are really important to my work to for continuity, or just let's say I have to use these two reference images a lot. I can actually save these out. All right, so I have a folder I'm just going to save this to, and what I'm what this is doing is saving these two to always bring in later, and I'll show you how to open it up in a second. So with these two selected, I'm just going to trash all. I actually don't need to have them selected, you can just say trash all. And then, if I want to bring them back in, I'm going to go to that. And then if I want to bring it back in, I can go to this folder icon and go to where I saved it and import it. So as you can see, when I go to that file location, it is the KRF, so create a reference. I can open and it brings it back in exactly how I saved it out. This is perfect. So now I can go back, I can still... Um, change the saturation, the opacity, rotate it if I want, all that fun stuff, and add that thing is lost. And like I said, this is a really good way, especially if you have character work you're doing, and you want to make sure you always have those colors right, you can save out a reference bundle of just those reference images for that character, and always bring them back in so you never have to worry about color or how the character looks ever again. It's already there. Save, bring it back in. And if you only want to delete uh, one of these reference images and not all of them, you can just hit the delete key. And that's it. And that's basically it for the reference image tool. It's very simple, very useful. I don't really know how much has changed from the first time it got added to Krita, to be honest with you. So hopefully this video is more informative than my last one. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.